This is the final part of our video tutorial series on how to solve a cube using the rule method. For the first 5 parts of this tutorial series, you can easily find the links to the videos in the description or in our playlist. In this tutorial, we will learn how to solve the remaining edges of the M slice layer of the cube. And finally, the cube will be solved completely. So, if you are ready, let's go! Hey Cubers, my name is Ernie. Welcome to our channel and thanks for watching our videos. We create tutorial videos like this one as we aim to make learning simple for you. Before we start to solve the remaining edges of the M slice layer of the cube, here are some basics to know for this tutorial. So, first of all, hold the cube with the blue or green block facing towards your left palm at all time like so. Next, we will learn some move notations that will be needed for the algorithms later on. For each move notation, there is clockwise and anticlockwise. The first move notation is E, which is the middle horizontal slice layer here, and it follows the direction of the down face. So for E, you rotate the middle horizontal slice layer clockwise, and for E prime, you will rotate it anti-clockwise. The second move notation is U. We have learned this move notation in part 3 of this tutorial series. So to recap, for U, you rotate the upper layer clockwise, and for U prime, you will rotate anti-clockwise. The last move notation is M. We have learned this move notation in part 4 of this tutorial series. Do note that M follows the same direction as the left face of the cube. So to recap, for M, you will rotate the middle vertical slice layer clockwise. And for M prime, you will rotate anti-clockwise. This is it for the basics. If you are ready, let's do some cubing. At this stage, you are one or two algorithms away from solving your entire cube. In order to apply the correct algorithm, you must be able to identify the pattern on the M slice layer. In total, there are three patterns that you need to look out for, and for each pattern, you will apply the correct algorithm to solve the entire cube. The first pattern is one with the yellow and white bars, and there's also the defined pattern on the red and orange faces of the cube. So for this pattern, we will apply the following algorithm to solve the cube. Here's how it goes. First, we will position the yellow center piece facing up, then apply the algorithm M2, U2, M2, U2. And with that, the cube is soft. The second pattern is quite similar to the first pattern, except that this time we have red and orange bars, and there's also defined patterns on the yellow and white faces of the cube. So to solve this pattern, we we'll apply this algorithm. Here's how it goes. First, we will position our yellow center piece facing up. Then we apply the algorithm M prime U2 M2 U2 M prime. And with that, we have solved the cube. The last pattern is one with four dots on the cube. This pattern is the easiest to identify, and in order to solve it, you will apply this algorithm. E2 M E2 M prime. The cube is now solved.
If your cube does not fit into any of the three patterns, then you can apply the U2M algorithm repeatedly so that one of the patterns may appear and then you can solve it with the right algorithm for that pattern. So let's try this example. U2M U2M So what we have here is the four dots pattern. So to solve this, we will simply apply this algorithm E2 M E2 M prime. And with that, the cube is now solved. All right. We've come to the end of this rule method tutorial series. Do continue to practice solving your cube using the rule method until you can do it instantly. If you forget any of the steps or the algorithms, you can simply re-watch our videos again until you become familiar with them. Otherwise, if you have any comments, you may leave them in the comments section below. We hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial series and do subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching this video and have lots of fun solving your cube. Bye for now.